Well, hey, welcome to uh, another episode of Diamond Dialogue. We're uh, we're at number nine or something now. Um, that guy over there, that's uh, over, over, somewhere. He's somewhere. He that's Tom Gurky joining me. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, see, stupid. <laughs> this way. There. <laughs> All right, that's that's great for audio listeners too. So yeah, they're they're like, wow, those guys are really they they're good. Yeah, we're pros, <laughs> professionals for sure. So, uh, so let's just start right off. Who the hell are you, and how did you get here? Well, I'm Tom Gurky, as you can see under the name. The uh, Gurky rhymes with turkey, which <laughs> made Thanksgiving hell because you know, hello, Tom Turkey was a popular song at the time and uh, yeah yeah, Thanksgiving was a not so happy holiday for me but regardless (laughs) uh, I'm sure I'm not alone and uh, other than that uh, as far as what I do I'm a enterprise infrastructure manager for a, a company that enriches uranium for nuclear power plant, so that's um, it would sound like you were lying. Uh, <laughs> it it's crazy. It's like, so unbelievable that it has to be true, right? Right. Yeah. No. No. Really, man. What What do you do? What do you, What do you really do? <laughs> uh, I'm a super spy. Yeah. Super spy. <laughs> no. That That's what I do. Um, I moved up into management through you know. Basically, everything that I do, I kind of just pick it up as I go along. So um, you'll see wrong place, wrong time is a theme of my life. So <laughs> uh, that's kind of the boring stuff. You know, how I got involved with Chat Realm, Diamond Club, etc. is uh, somebody turned me on to, to podcasting, uh, DL.TV. Back in the day, was you know Patrick Norton and uh, right. Robert Heron, you know, and that turned that in turn evolved. But I, I started looking for for other stuff. Uh, you know, wanted to learn. Obviously, I'm into tech, so uh, found Tech News Today, TNT, over at Twit. Yeah, and just enjoyed. Tom, mainly, you know, Tom, Sarah, Jason joined the crew at some point, Iaz then joined, and, uh, you know, just really enjoyed kind of the down-to-earth, um, approachable, accessible, you know, those those guys are, are good at what they do, and, but they're not sitting there above everybody else just you know you can talk to them and they'll talk back and that's that's kind of cool and they're starting you know they talk about the uh chat room chat realm etc as as being kind of a an additional host of the show or member of the show and so i kind of looked into that a little bit and really i didn't get involved because and I'm sure a lot of people who are new to chat realm probably feel the same way is you, you pop in, you say hi, you may or may not get a response back from anybody and it can be a little intimidating because there's a lot of people in in there, you know, if there's a show going on, uh, it's pretty hectic. Uh, Particularly if you're if NSFW or Night Attack is the show that you jump in on, yeah, it is God help you. <laughs> yes, plus a lot of in jokes that that people don't get. Um, you know, you it's pretty intimidating for for the newcomer. So I, I dipped my toe in, went mm, kind of too hot for me. <laughs> dipped my toe back out. You know, just just kind of lurked. Um, then when Diamond Club TV started really, uh, you know, kicking in, uh, the the chat room was much smaller, obviously, 
Right. Uh, so I started sitting in there. Now, in the meantime, with Tech News Today, I was, you know, they started the subreddit, and uh, that was largely my introduction to the whole Reddit scene, and I went, ah, you know, Reddit's cool, but it's kind of ugly. Yeah, and yeah. so, you know, it's minimal, let's just say. I, you know, ugly is subjective. It's, it's, it gets the job done. Um, but I started messing with extensions for the browsers that lets me apply my own styles, and so I would pretty it up. Uh, then they said, well, let's restyle Tech News today. Let's, let's um, have a contest, I think it was. And I went, you know, I've kind of got a style sheet that, that I use. I can polish it up. It's kind of got the twit look, colors, what have you. Right. Um, applied it, showed it to, to Kyle, uh, the, the super moderator. And... Uh, you know, I don't. Know, the rest is history, I guess. You know, they liked it. I started tweaking it. I started getting more people saying, "Oh, will you help us style our, our subreddit?" That way, now when I showed up in uh, chat, it's like, "Oh, well, we kind of know who this Tom Gerke guy is because you know, he's been involved with the subreddit." And right. So that was kind of my in. Uh, the other thing was. And this is what I would encourage anybody new to chat realm to do: just make a fool of yourself in in chat. I, you know, that's what I do. I, I'll tell a hundred stupid jokes, and if somebody bites on one of them, you know, I'm gold. That encourages me to tell the, the next hundred stupid jokes. So, uh, fortunately, doing that you end up finding a lot of people who have the similar crappy sense of humor that you've got. <laughs> and, you know, uh, you uh, seem to, to share somewhat of my crappy sense of humor. Uh, TVZ gone, obviously, uh, right. from episode eight. If you haven't heard it, seen it, go back and watch it. Uh, Sub Gons, you know, Episode four, Diamond Dialogue. Go back and catch that one. Wow, you know these episodes uh, better than I do. <laughs> I can tell you which ones are which. <laughs> well, well, you know, I am I am the Twitter bot uh, that you wrote to yeah. to pimp the show. So, <laughs> um, but you know, once you get your kind of your foot in the door, you find out that there's a lot of really cool, interesting, talented people. Um, and then you just never really want to leave. Yeah, definitely. Um, I uh, I was in the Twitch chat room for a while, um, but like you, it was just it was always too much. I never felt like jumping in. I just kind of lurked in there. But it was the same thing when I you know when Daily Tech News Show started up and Diamond Club all you know kind of got going and everything. It was like the perfect time to jump in and, and actually be more of a part of the chat room and and have some more you know it's actually more fun to to chat while while you're watching the show because it's. It's you know part of the show and, and like on Night Attack and like on this show, like you're actually part of the show. You're in the chat room. You're on the the video stream. Everybody sees what you say. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there's one thing that you know, I guess I'll I'll pimp myself some at the at the end of the show. But for anybody watching right now, if you're watching a, a podcast, you know, especially a, a Diamond Club podcast, but, but any of them that has a chat room, jump in, get involved, um, because it, the shows that you're watching are probably really good, but it takes it to a whole nother level when you, when you actually get involved um, in chat, in the subreddits, etc., you know, this new media thing is is pretty darn cool. Oh yeah, and and the chats are friendly too. Like our chat and uh, you know uh, Frog Pants chat. If you get, if you watch a lot of Frog Pants Network shows, it's everybody's really friendly in there. So you're yeah. definitely encouraged to join. But uh, we'll move on to the second question here, which actually should be a pretty simple answer. Um, what are the origins <laughs> of your chat handle? Oh man, that is that's a long story. Um, See, my dad's name is Tom Gerke, 
So I come from a long line of unimaginative, uh, <laughs> boring people. <laughs> so, you know, uh, the uh, basically it's just born out of my frustration of, you know, I have had gaming names in the past, handles, etc. Uh, but I, too late to Twitter, to chat, to whatever, to to get those things locked down. So finally, out of frustration, I just went, screw it. Tom Gerke it is, and big shocker, it was available. Um, so I, I, pretty much any social network that you, if you're looking for me, odds are Tom Gerke is where I'm at because, you know, while there are a surprising number of Tom Gerkes out there, if you search the internet, um, they're apparently they're not on social media and you know yay for me for having a weird name yeah or they're more <laughs> imaginative than just using their name as the handle so yeah <laughs> that, that's true I have both the the weird name and the the boring streak so <laughs> well, yeah see it, my name's too way too common like there's some cheesy lawyer in florida that's got you know the dot com of my name so i actually had to get imaginative and, and come up with a, a handle that would would be unique and, and luckily it, it is any, anywhere i go so all right so you're let's move on to the third question this is a tough one you're stranded on a desert island you only get three movies it's one of those movies it says a lot got about it. you yeah, and you know, obviously, I've I've seen the the show. I knew this was coming, um, so my answers are probably going to be disappointed for the amount disappointing for the amount of thought that I should have given it. But um, movie number one, V for Vendetta. Um, I'm a I'm a big comic book fan. Obviously, it's a comic book based movie. It's not. It's not the greatest movie ever made, for sure. I, you know, I picked what I enjoy versus. You know, something that is going to be on a. Uh, you know, Oscars top ten list or or whatever. Oh, but sure. uh, the thing I like about that movie is. You know, it's got a triumphant ending, but not necessarily a, a, a happy ending. Um, the the hero slash Anna hero dies. Um, oh, spoil <laughs> spoilers. Um, sorry. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Just strikes a chord with me. Uh, second second movie, uh, quirky uh, Fifth Element. Oh, great. I, See, uh, it, when you when you tell people that you kind of, it seems to be very divisive. You know, people either love it or hate it. Um, I obviously fall down on the the love it side. Um, as, as do I, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's quirky, it's fun, it's colorful, it's bizarre. Um, I like the music. Uh, you know. You got to have a little fun when you're on a desert island by yourself. No, exactly. The the third uh, is is Die Hard. Which one? The first. The one? first one. Okay, yeah. Uh, the, the only one, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I you know, I've enjoyed them all to some extent, but uh, yeah. definitely the first one. Uh, Alan Rickman is a big favorite of mine. Uh, could. Could watch him act anything. Uh, Bruce Willis, you know, I, I got a soft spot for him. <laughs> Obviously, Fifth Element is another Bruce Willis movie. Right. Um, but again, Die Hard, the story of a man in the wrong place at the wrong time, and it's an excellent Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, yeah. All the Die Hards are excellent Christmas right. movies, supposedly. So. <laughs> Uh, those are the three I would have. That's some. That's some pretty good picks. I can't really can't really fault you at all there. <laughs> all right. So another one that says a lot about you is you, you're given a superpower. What's that superpower, and what's the first thing you do with it? 
okay, so giving it a lot of thought, and every time somebody, you know, when Seb Gons was doing his, his episode, he's just started listing different superpowers, and I was going to strangle him when he hit super speed. Um, and I know it's been mentioned in other, uh, I think TVZ Gon mentioned it uh, during his episode. Um, but I've actually given this a lot of thought. And I believe that with super speed, you get a lot of the other superpowers. Uh, you know, teleportation. Essentially. Okay, it may not be instant, but it depends on how fast you really are. Um, you've got, you know, what force is mass times acceleration. Well, super speed gives you acceleration. You can, uh, you can do a lot. You, sh you know, could you lift something heavy by just applying enough acceleration? Uh, obviously, there's something that goes on with your body at super speeds to reduce the friction on your skin or on your clothes. You know, if you if you're a Flash fan and right. you know, speed force is it some sort of envelope of energy around you that, uh, you know, you should be able to to fly to some extent. You Ostensibly. can you read somebody's mind? Um, no, but if somebody's pointing a gun at you and your perceptions are super fast, you can. You can tell when they start pulling the trigger as soon as they do it, and you can appear to read their mind. Uh, right, reacting so fast that yeah, yeah, that seems it's, like a good one. So what's what's the first thing you do with it then? Uh, I, first thing I'd probably do is uh, find all the the people who wouldn't give me the time of day in in high school, and you know, zip up. Poke them in the eye and run away. Sort of the uh, the end of Jane Silent Bob Strike Back kind of kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> just say you know, ha ha, you know, suck it, I'm out of here, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, real high moral ground there. Oh yeah, um, exactly. Take them high road. <laughs> but you know, uh, go visit family. Go. I have family in Italy. Uh, go oh, yeah. visit them, and then just. Just roam the world like Kane. Really, really fast. <laughs> sure. Don't roam the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I just did it now. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's that's that would be that would be fun and, and having super speed. So, um, what game are you currently playing, wasting all your time on, or maybe board oh. game you're playing with friends or something? Yeah. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know the answer to this, and it's Landmark. Uh, it's a game currently in closed beta. It's uh, kind of the farm league uh, for EverQuest Next by Sony Online Entertainment. Um, and it's hard to describe what the game is because it's it's evolving and it's intentionally evol evolving. Uh, the thing that it was two months ago is a little bit different than the thing it is the thing it is today. Hmm. Um, so you know what it is right now is kind of a building game, a la Minecraft. Um, you know, without the uh, you know, I tried Minecraft, and for some reason, it just it never worked for me. I, I mean, I've it wouldn't let me authenticate. I, I just got super frustrated oh, getting really? into it. Um, so I just I, I put it aside, and then uh, Adam Pulowski got me kind of interested in this, and. Uh, you know, I jumped in. It's very cool, very pretty, kind of a modern take on on Minecraft. Um, but then it, it will evolve. You know, just they're they're having a, a big convention now uh, and announcing new features, PVE, PVP. Um, so it, what it will become is another MMO. Oh, okay. Uh, 
so, you know, the game that I'm playing now is kind of a game that's not even really, you know, a tenth done yet. <laughs> but a, I like the building aspect. B, I love being involved in a game on the ground floor. Uh, I got, I've played World of Warcraft, but I got into that a little late. I enjoyed it up to a point, but it seemed like everybody else had passed me by. Right, um, got into it too late. Yeah, and you know, you miss a lot of the early content. Well, now I'm really involved in the early content. So, um, yeah, I post a lot of crap in my Twitter, and I feel sorry for for my followers there. Um, but I, I, it's interesting to me. Uh, love just looking forward to see where that goes but that's that consumes what little free time i've got yeah, i know how that is having a little free time i'm basically spending all of mine today now <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry no that's all right it's something fun to do and then i get to talk to cool people so um you know that that does sound like a really fun game and I would almost like it to stay more on the Minecraft side of things because I, I like um, SimCity and, and other building type simulations. Although I didn't particularly enjoy Minecraft myself. Um, but I think that was more the fact that you had to combine and make things to make other things to make other things to make. You know, like there's the the starting from the bottom part that I didn't. I, I do kind of like that in some games, but in other ways I'd, I would like to just be able to you know get a chair and put that instead of having to go and, and build all the pieces to wood and, and you know all that stuff the land, yeah landmark gives you a good balance of that you, you can go get you can create props you know you, you still have some of that you got to gather resources to build things to go gather better resources to go build better things but sure. um, it does strike a good balance with the, you know, if you want a chair, you can go buy it, a chair. Right. Um, yeah. You want a table, you can go buy a table. You know, so. No, all right, we'll see where it goes. No, definitely. So, if you could move to any planet, real or uh, science fiction or anything, what would it be, and uh, what what would your house be like? Oh, let's see. I was thinking about this a little earlier too. And I came up with Ursa Mina Bader. Bader? Beta. <laughs> <laughs> Ursa Major Bader. Uh, wait, we won't go. Ursa Minor Beta from, any guess, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Oh, um, well, they didn't call it that, though. Did they? Or I am think, I thinking of a different I planet? think they did. Uh, it's the resort planet. It's yeah. where it's always right before the bars close on Saturday night. Right, uh, yeah. And uh, my house would just be some, sh like, real chill uh, bamboo grass hut with really good internet access. <laughs> with really good internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Kind of the whole beach vibe with the uh, the whole nerd vibe. Yeah, exactly. That's ah oh, man. I went to the beach when I was on vacation, and it was so nice. So nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so sunburned, but so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's worth it. Oh, definitely. So uh, on, to, on to more of the guest-specific questions. Uh, regular watchers of Daily Tech News Show and everything will recognize Brecky Thomason. And this is less applicable now that he's cut his hair, but is he your doppelganger, long-lost twin, or you from an alternate universe? Um, I, out of respect for Brecky, I'll probably go with none of the above. None of the above. Come on. <laughs> because I'm, I'm not sure that connection is. Yeah, it was weird. The first time he was on the show, and I... I I was in chat, and somebody said, oh, you know, Tom, it's good to see you on. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're <laughs> like, well, aren't you on Daily Tech News Show today? And I said, no, I, I don't. And so I pulled the video up, um, and sure enough, I was like, oh, I see what's happening here. Right. I, the strange thing is, all of my life, I have always looked like somebody else. So, uh, when I was, you know, if I'm clean 
shaven short hair back in the day it was the older brother on blossom oh okay. uh, <laughs> i can see that <laughs> it, uh, 10 years ago it was chad kroger from nickelback you know when he had longer hair yeah a little uh, bit Five years ago or so, you know, I'm sitting in a like a Red Lobster or someplace like that, and the, the manager comes up and he says, "You know, you look like Dirk Nowitzki, who is a it's a basketball player who is a, probably you know two feet taller than I am." Right. <laughs> you know, so it's just I I don't know what it is. I, I apparently look like everybody else except for myself, which. That's okay. <laughs> so, so Brecky is my, uh, you know, I kind of joked. He, he's my. If I'm disheveled, he's my more shoveled <laughs> counterpart <laughs> with the short hair. And I'm not sure shoveled is a word, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, disheveled is a word. But, right. Yeah. <laughs> we're allowed to make up words. Sure, it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you do amazing artwork for Diamond Club? A lot of stuff that you've done for Chord Killers and everything. In fact, the podcast artwork is, is some of yours. Um, is there anything special that you're working on? Uh, you know, maybe some more you know, heads in jars or something. <laughs> well, uh, so the, um, for Chord Killers, actually, the, the podcast art is, is not mine. So oh. <laughs> I don't. The, um, that is, oh, shoot. What is her name? All right, well, regardless, I, I will somehow credit her. Uh, so when Cord Killers was developing their artwork, they sent the word out, and people would submit various things. It ended up being very kind of collaborative. So um, I, the fist holding the the cable um, was a as it was a theme, um, and then. So she riffed on that. It was kind of a very collaborative back and forth. Um, however, you know, just just to make sure that that record is straight. Now I have done artwork for for other folks' podcasts like Quest for Peace by Iaz, uh, Actar. Um, shoot, now I'm drawing a blank on some other things. The 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 heads in a jar. Uh, I actually just happened to have printed that's pretty awesome so you know people mention weird things in chat they strike a fancy and I just start to doodle um, and like I said I don't really know what I'm doing um, but I, I guess I was so shocking he fell out of his chair folks <laughs> no I just I just <laughs> dropped something here. Uh, <laughs> But uh, so it's a learning process for me, and it's actually just it's kind of shocking to me that some people um, seem to like it, and if they can use it for something um, great, uh, the subreddit for Cord Killers and subreddit for DTNS, and you know, a lot of the artwork goes there. Uh, Sebgons and I talked about doing a collaboration. You know, there are very there are a lot of great artists in Diamond Club, oh, yeah. and I, I don't consider myself one of them. But the they're definitely you know motivational, inspirational, um, and I really feel like uh, I've gotten better. Just by by being around those those folk, and uh, I, I really appreciate that. Oh yeah! Oh, looks like we lost a little bit of YouTube streaming. Hopefully that'll fix itself in just a second here. It's weird I didn't drop any frames that all of a sudden it disconnected itself. But we seem to be going again. So moving on to the, your final question: uh, duct tape or duct tape? <laughs> oh, duct tape. Duct tape. Even though it's not officially approved for usage on ducks anymore. Ductus. Ductus. Duct. Yes. <laughs> I, I, 
I have been accused of being a a grammar Nazi in the past, not to uh, invoke Godwin's law or anything like that, but uh, the uh, I'm very interested in words and origins, and the fact that literally doesn't mean literally anymore really bugs me. So, uh, yeah, ducts, even though it's not rated to use for, for duct work anymore, um, that's, that's kind of the origin, so... Well, did you know that it was actually originally called duck tape, D-U-C-K tape, because it repels water just like the feathers of a duck? See, I know, I didn't know that. And then very shortly after, it was started to be used by the uh, the construction industry and stuff, and was pretty good on, on duct work until they started using aluminum tape for that, so... It's... See, you've... My, my worldview is destroyed. I'm going to have to... I start drinking after this now. <laughs> <laughs> and and actually, uh, officially, either one is acceptable. They're that, both correct. This is true. <laughs> so, well, that was that was excellent. Uh, it was great to have you on. Do you have anything you want to plug for anybody? Um, you got your Twitter handle on the screen. Anything? Yeah, you just my my Twitter. Um, if you want to find anything relating to stuff that I do online, uh, just go to tomg.me. Um, that way you don't have to to worry about how to spell Gherky because uh, heaven knows I have a hard enough time with it and I've been living with it for quite a while. Yeah, your um, name in chat to me is Tom Tab. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and heaven, heaven help us if there's somebody else whose name starts with T-O-M. Yeah, the Tom uh, Weber's usually in there, but uh, since G is before W, it usually picks you up first. So, but, but I do have to watch that. <laughs> yes. Um, but that's it. Uh, you know, I, I, I try to be goofy online. I try to keep as much drama off off my Twitter as, as I can. But, uh, yeah, if you want to see goofy artwork, um, hear stupid jokes, or read stupid jokes probably, um, yep, find me on on the net. Excellent. Uh, sorry, a fly just flew into my face. Like, of course, <laughs> he, he wanted to be on the video, too, you know. So I didn't know if you were, me. like, gang signs or <laughs> no, signals. No. Sh or... Sh sh shut up! <laughs> <laughs> the the internet is a secret. Shh. <laughs> no, no, you're all good. I was just trying to get him out of my face so I could actually talk to you. <laughs> But, um, for any audio listeners, Tom Gerke, uh, for his Twitter handle, is T-O-M-G-E-H-R-K-E. -E. Um, and I'm only going to do that once, so good luck with that. <laughs> and if you want to catch more Diamond Dialogue, you can do that at tinvec.com. That's two N's. Uh, tinvec.com slash diamond dash dialogue. Uh, I should have taken the dash out of that, but I didn't. So, <laughs> so that's how that's going to work. But in any event, thank you very much again for, for being on, Tom Gerke, and uh, we'll let the music play us out here. Cool, thanks. Yeah, that would be thank you. It's, it's a hot elevator. Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs>